I am back. Just me for now. He's not here. There she is. Lego is coned. He got the big procedure done. He got, he is now ballless. We have removed we have that. We've done the thing. We've removed that. Right. Let's start Final Fantasy. Oh, do you remember what happened last time? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we met these little bunny people and they tried to we, give us clothes and stuff. And yeah. It did not look good. Mm. Are they asking us to Skyrim? Skyrim. Oh, we are. Oh, Skyrim. look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was not as hard as I thought it would be. So what did you think of the forest? Isn't it positive? Oh, that was a forest. Yeah. Thine arrival is timely as ever. It's like you didn't know we weren't following. Thou didst chance to overhear my conversation with Living Way, I presume? T'was not mine intent to move in shadow. Nevertheless, I have been asked to do that and more yet again. Is it so plain that these strangers could intuit it at a glance? My capacity for silence and secrecy? And duplicity? It's because you're so shady. You look and Grahatia did contrive to deliver the first at the price of his own life. I was complicit in the scheme. A sacrifice averted for a mercy. Would that I could say the same for Minfilia. One life for one world. And by that bloody bargain brokered by my hand were the scions robbed of a dear comrade and Flamine, her beloved daughter. Two souls whose selflessness was beyond measure, whose resolve was unshakable. They would not be moved even had I thought to protest. That protest I did not. Far from it. I pushed them forward. No effort did I make to seek out alternatives. Ones that would not demand such terrible costs. That resignation weighs heavy on my mind, as does the memory of another lost to mine inaction. Dearest Moonbreather, who did face death unflinching that we might secure a means to bring low the Asians. In her hour of need, I did naught. Dutiful disciple of Louis Soir, ever looking to the greater good. Had I shut mine eyes and bid her live instead, mayhap she would be with us today. Selfish wants born of everlasting regrets. Most days I put them from my mind, but could think of naught else when asked to swallow the same bitter draught. Subterfuge and sacrifice. Mayhap the right moral choice, but one I regard with great trepidation. That's draft. The calamity of Amorot was a tragedy beyond reckoning, one which must never again come to pass. Thus must we struggle, haunted by ghosts of those we have lost, clinging to those we pray we can yet save. But what of those we cannot? How do we make peace with the dreadful algebra of necessity? Sometimes there's no right answer. Sometimes there is no right answer. I am not alone in my discomfort then. 
It is surprising. Though perhaps not. We Scions are wont to debate strategy at length, but are resolute and unwavering in execution. Strange. Scarcely can I remember when last we spoke alone, and so candidly. It's been a while. But, Dunk, what are you doing? I thank thee. For all my supposed skill with words, I find it difficult to express such private thoughts. As for the Loperitz proposition, I will take time and consider how to respond. It would be to our mutual benefit if we could converse more openly with our aspiring caretakers. A concern I should be glad to address on the science behalf. Shall give you that responsibility. To dispense with all pretense and bear one's heart to another is a frightening thing indeed. But we cannot move forward ere we take that bold first step. A lesson I have learned many times before. And today. We were following him, but we were being followed. Oh, shit. What are they saying? Curse these ears <laughs> that <I> barrel. <laughs> Wouldn't they be able to hear further because of their ears? They should. No matter. We've got our plans. You can try using these balls of moose flesh. Not to be confused with, uh, the other thing. <laughs> I don't get it. We could have just teleported to the Watcher's Palace. Because yeah. there's an either right there. Yeah. And, uh, what, pray tell, do we seek at the Watcher's Palace? Return to Atheris and help your brethren prepare for their journey here and beyond. Forgive me, Living Way, but I cannot in good conscience proceed with this plan. <gasps> huh? <laughs> but what about the final days? The death and the doom? Oh, we have to hurry before it's too late! Your unflagging commitment to your duty is endearing, to say the least. Oh, Baga! <laughs> Be at ease. They bear you no grudge, nor do I. How could we, having come to understand your purpose? For millennia, you and yours work tirelessly towards the singular purpose of this heavenly vessel's construction. An arduous feat by any measure. It is clear you have spared no effort. Why, your very names are a testament to your dedication. Mm -hmm. Names are an expression of the self, a declaration of one's hopes and aspirations. Your use of contemporary, uncomplicated nomenclature doth ensure clarity of purpose. Nomenclature. There can be no doubt mm. that your love for the people of Atheris is boundless and pure. That is not how we say it here. No, it's not. Nomenclature. A, a most mellifluous phrasing! Mellifluous. Ah, oh, they must have learned something from Orianje already. Already. We 
roots were born of Heidelin's love for Atheris. That shining, shimmering blue jewel, brightest star in the sky, brimming with life and possibilities. For as long as I can remember, I've toiled in anticipation of the day when this vessel might be needed. All I've ever wanted was to meet those she cherished so dearly. To serve and serve well. That goes for all of us, don't you see? So help us. Help us help them. Lead them here where we can keep them safe. If there's anything wrong with what we've built, we'll fix it. We'll make it right. Your works want not for repair. Yet there remaineth much for you to learn of men and your own kin besides. Singing way. Thy name bespeaketh more than the simple marriage of rhythm and rhyme. Hmm. The songs of Etheris are beyond counting and span the length and breadth of emotion. Hmm. Maps are monuments to man's pioneering spirit and his devotion to charting the furthest reaches of our star. Many have devoted their lifetimes to exploratory pursuits to venture unto the highest mountains and the deepest oceans in search of unknown frontiers. And thou, my friend, I... Oh, I do not think we have met. My... Uh, my name is Puddingway. <laughs> Can I have another one? Please, sir. Please, sir. Could I have some more? <laughs> Pudding, that is. Pudding Way? Yes, indeed. A name of deep and abiding significance, I'm sure. But one perhaps better communicated through delicious deeds than tasteless words. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. <laughs> Great way to put it. A judicious application of fey magics at a later juncture may be appropriate. <clears throat> and living way. <laughs> Tis no easy feat to convey the significance of thy moniker. Hmm. When I was a bookish boy, a dear friend of mine was fond of peppering me with questions as I read, to my occasional annoyance. One day, I posed to her a question of mine own. What doth it mean to live? All right. Oriange. After much contemplation, she proffered this answer. Of course you'd be asking that question as a bookish boy. <laughs> the anticipation of a half-read story's conclusion. Oof. The hope today's mistake may serve as tomorrow's lesson. Mm. The wish. Uh-oh. Oh, the wish that a new acquaintance I, may one day call I want be to friend. understand. She believed it to be all these moments and more. I... I want to understand, but... I, too, still labor to find mine own answer. Twould be my pleasure to assist you and yours in embarking on a journey of self-discovery and enlightenment. For thee. Ink as blue as the waters of Etheris. Mm. Made in haste, though I assure thee, the quality has not suffered for it. The people need not be persuaded by honeyed words. Nay, I have faith they shall do what is right in due course. Until they do, I beg your patience, friends. And with that ink, let us fill the empty pages of Living Way's compendium. 
an open exchange of ideas will surely afford you all a better understanding of modern man and with it ideas for improvements and renovations but more importantly it shall empower us to together find a way forward I hope you're right thank you for this lovely gift There you have it. I shall remain with the Loperets to ensure that all is in order. Though we must needs prepare for every eventuality, you would all agree that the evacuation of our star is a last resort. Is that man? To accept failure is to accept the demise not only of our star, but that of Reen's, of all reflections, and the souls that call them home. Mm. Which is why I have every faith that you shall fight to the last. That such drastic measures may prove unnecessary. Should the worst come to the worst, and I pray deeply that it won't, I'll take comfort in knowing preparations were made under your watchful eye. Aye, thou mayest be assured that if calamity cometh, not a soul will be left behind, if being the operative term. color of orange. That flower. How came into how came it into your possession? Well I don't give it to us. which remain a mystery, even to us. In our time, we called it Helpless. You would do well to remember the name. The flower or the thing that it breathes? of it. We haven't been the most gracious of guests. Do convey our apologies to Growing Way and the others. But of course! And when next we welcome more guests from Atheris, we'll have learned to be much more hospitable hosts. Oh, and circling back to the matter of inappropriate secrecy, we ought to discuss our benefactors. Agreed. The Charlian Forum, yes? How did you know? What? How did you know? <laughs> the more I heard, the more obvious it became. The forum's aims align closely with those of your anonymous patrons. A telling coincidence would be an understatement. <laughs> Though had we not taken it upon ourselves to peruse certain restricted tones in Labyrinthos, we might still be unaware of their plans. But let us continue this discussion upon our return. I dare say we have kept Alphino and the others waiting long enough. Yep. Being on the moon and all. So tall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. Man. Oh, here we go. Here we now, go. Now it's a talking time. Now it is. Roomba. Before you say anything, we know what you're about to say. It's very Asian music. Order, order, I say. Bueller. 
Bueller. That's what he sounded yeah. like. <laughs> I thank you all for gathering here on such short notice. This day we must speak of grave affairs and their implications for the future of Charlian, nay, of this very star. Said affairs concern all citizens, and so we have called for a public assembly. You may have heard rumors of the Talofaroi, and the havoc these madmen wreak abroad. Under normal circumstances, we would pay little heed to petty disturbances outside our borders. The final days, however, are another matter altogether. For we dare not ignore these prophetic words of Eld. The end bearers will come, ushering chaos and calamity. The final days descend and devour the very stuff. I've never heard this prophecy. Is it true? Will all that really happen? Calm yourselves. The time has come to speak of the Forum's most sacred duties. But first... We must unlock our throats. Give voice to the voiceless. Let bindings be unbound. By unanimous decree, I declare the enchantment broken. Master Leveilleur. If you would. Very well. Two hundred and seventy years ago, our forebears began an expedition in the Dravanian hinterlands, in search of a route to access the Ethereal Sea. This much is public knowledge. Their findings, however, would become the Forum's most closely guarded secret. What those researchers discovered in the Hinterlands was not a passage unto the Ethereal Sea, what? but the very heart of our star. Uh -oh. And Hydaelyn herself. What? She spoke to them of a calamity that would extinguish all life and of a means by which we might be spared. What? The moon. Tis in truth a gargantuan vessel built to serve as sanctuary for her children and deliver them from this doom. Much like Nuncref's hope in ages past, it will bear the people of a world in the throes of death to a new home. Needless to say, this will be no small undertaking. To facilitate the great work, the Forum has maintained close contact with the servants of Hydaelyn, who presently reside on the moon. Convinced that the foretold end was all but inevitable, we began amassing a wealth of knowledge, not merely for the betterment of our nation, but in preparation for the journey to come. You reveal this to us now? By the gods, how long do we have? Yeah. While we cannot say with certainty, we believe the hour to be nigh. We received a transmission from the moon suggesting as much not long ago. That's probably us. We accidentally pressed the button. Which is why we must in earnest begin preparations for the great exodus. <laughs> for his impressive contributions, and the leadership he demonstrated during our withdrawal from Dravania, we have elected Master Leveilleur to oversee this initiative. Of course. 
worse. Fellow scribes and scholars, my countrymen, we face a threat of unprecedented scale. We must challenge the trials before us with composure and conviction if we are to find salvation. The wisdom of Charlian has ever been a shining beacon in the darkness, and so it shall continue to be. It is our solemn charge to see our heritage preserved for future generations. For those who will come after, we will brave a new frontier. Administrative edicts will be relayed to all major institutions ere long. In the meantime, carry on with your duties. With that, I hereby call this assembly to a close. So they get to decide who goes to the moon? remember what mother told us when we visited home that it wasn't until after we were born that father seemed to lose himself in his work it's because he wanted if that to see great them. work of his was the evacuation of this star then yes it wasn't for his benefit but for ours Would you mind waiting here a moment? I wish to speak with Father before we leave. Take your time. Thank you. I shan't be long. No, you shan't. If it's all the same to you, I have a few choice words to share with Father as well. Give the old bugger a hug. That's what he needs. <laughs> so, come to call us cowards and bid us join your fruitless battle against the inevitable. Look at that solar flare. Nay, we do not object to the forum's proposal. On the contrary, those who wish to flee have every right to do so. Orianger is cooperating with your associates on the moon to ensure that all is ready should evacuation be our only recourse. What? How'd you guys get up there? Then whatever your business, I suggest you be brief. Though we cannot boast the boundless wisdom of Charlian, we have first-hand knowledge of foreign cultures and have conversed with no small number of peoples. These experiences have taught us fundamental truths that cannot be recorded in any tome, nor charted on any map. The beating heart of this planet is its people, many of whom would give anything, even their lives, to protect the lands they love. Many may choose to join you in the end, but what of those unwilling or unable, for whom escape will never be an option? What would you have them do? To ignore the plight of those one might conceivably save is not wisdom, Father. It is indolence. Out. This is why we choose to fight. We'll not ask for your understanding, Father. Only that you don't turn a blind eye to the good we have done. That we can still do. We're not children in need of protection. Hold fast to your principles and let the world burn if it please. But we believe there is still another way. And if there is, we will find it. You see if we don't. Do as you will. Just stay out of our way. Okay. Do. Not like we were ever in their way in the first place. Just needed 
Help looking through the tomes. Were he not so consumed with self-righteousness, he might tell you how proud he is of you both. Hmm. Yeah. Bold words call for bold action. And there'll be no turning to your father <laughs> should plans go awry. Mm. Go awry. As if I ever would. So long as there are those who wish to stay and fight for this star, we have to do what we can to help them. And if we're to do that, we'll need to be well rested. Will we get to rest finally? Wouldn't you agree? No, it never happens. And having triumphed over what we once thought to be the source of all evil, I can think of no one in greater need of at least a dozen winks. And you and me both. Are you talking about me? Shall we then? To the Annex. To prepare for tomorrow. When the skies get aflame. Is this what it says? <laughs> the bells of St. John. Oh, cool. Took my shield off. Visitor has come knocking at your door. Whoever could it be? That's we know it's not Al. <laughs> Wait. Does it change? Does it does it change if we choose somebody? Is that who shows up at the door? <laughs> That's what really? I thought. Okay, who are you gonna pick? Oh man. Who you pick? Who you pick? Waifu. Waifu. I shall pick. You're still awake. Good. Might I trouble you to stand still for a moment? Hmm. You're alone. Nothing appears out Good. of the ordinary. A precautionary measure. You will recall that serving as a vessel for abundant light in the first very nearly ended poorly. In your recent battle on the moon, you were almost certainly exposed to similar, if not greater, forces. Fortunately, from what I can see, you and your ether are none the worse for wear. Would that Reen were here to confirm my assessment. To think you actually found yourself in a direct confrontation with Zodiac. As if Xenos gallivanting about in your body was not misfortune enough. Did you so grossly offend every single deity in a past life that they saw fit to place a curse upon your soul? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Forgive me. That was in poor taste. I recall vividly how battered and broken it was in the depths of Amaranth. Would that you could have seen it with your own eyes. Mayhap then you would understand why the greater part of me is glad you did not. It was... A horror beyond description. And we do see it. Promise me you will be careful. That you will seek my counsel if you feel unwell. That puts my heart at ease, if only a touch. I suspect it will grow colder as the night wears on. So do be sure to stay warm. Sleep well. And may the shadows keep you.
short while earlier in the Alamegan Quarter. The Xenos. Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. But before that, we gotta see what um, uh, Westinian says. The twins thought now would be a wonderful time to pay a visit to my chambers. Rather than listen to them bicker over tonight's snacks and tomorrow's plans, I seized the first opportunity to make my escape. To their credit, they decided against intruding on your peace and quiet. Instead, I did that. Apparently. <laughs> Can all be a bit exhausting at times, can't it? I wasn't sure what to make of you at first. During the Dragon Song War, how quick you were to take up a cause not your own. But I came to see that is simply the way of you and yours. I will not pretend to understand this talk of ancient primals and the final days, but I trust in your judgment and choose to believe in your cause. You and Alphano have my lance, now and always. You'll need it. Rack and ruin looming on the horizon, calamity bearing down upon us. There's no place I'd rather be than here, standing shoulder to shoulder with friends on the front line. So do not hesitate to send me against your enemies. I'll make them rue the day they met me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I could do with a little air. Oh, just if Alvano asks, I was never here. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Until tomorrow. That was a good choice. Batman. <laughs> Who else leaves through the freaking window except Batman? Come on. Ooh, it's so great. <laughs> freaking, he might as well just pulled out a battering and shot it in the air. <laughs> And the American quarter. Thank the gods that tower is gone. The sight of it was enough to make me sick. Thank the Ilsebar contingent, more like. Where it is? They fought their way into Garlemald and toppled the bloody thing themselves. Aye, I heard the same. Commander Aldin and his troops helped keep casualties to a minimum, too. But is it true they brought back tempered Garlean soldiers? Oh. Interesting. <laughs> As Commander Aldin tells it, <laughs> they have a treatment for that now. <laughs> but don't you worry. Cured or not, they've no plans to bring them into the city proper. That's funny. <laughs> yeah. I see. Well, that's a relief then. I know we've brothers and sisters among the lot. But I can't say I'm eager to welcome them home. Who this? Won't need to think about it for a while yet. We're to be looked after in Alagana for the time being. Who this? Oh. Oh. Oh no. What's happening? Oh no. Meanwhile, in Nishgard. 
Were there plants? Were they planted? These people aren't ever cold. Another day, another commission of paramount importance. Oh, it's Erinvel. You remember Erinvel? Yeah. Well, what have we here? Freaking zombie. Hmm. Are you all right? Oh no, don't let him bite you. Was that? No. The shadows play tricks, nothing more. The towers are gone, and the Garlean threat is abated, and yet? Why does it feel as though it's about to get much, much worse? The Blight. Oh, I saw this on uh, Final Fantasy 16. Uh-oh. And lo, vile beasts did rise. <clears throat> so we keep thinking this is Emmett, but it sounds like that white-haired dude that showed up. Uh, our old friend, new friend. We keep thinking this is Emmett, but it's not. Is it, is it not? Yeah, I think it sounds like old friend, new friend. This is intense. Oh, this is at the trailer. Leaving naught in their wake but blood and ash. Oh my gosh, we're in Diablo. Sun scorches earth and boils seas. Doesn't it look like it? Oh, wow. And our sins ascend unto the heavens. Three dooms to unmake all we were. Is that what she says in the, the trailer? My friends, I trust you have heard the news. We have. What can you tell us of the situation, Your Excellency? I mean, can't you look up at the sky and see? Last night, the isle was rocked by tremors, and the earth itself cried out. Aloft, the heavens began to burn. From all about, unholy beasts, the likes of which we had never seen, came forth in fury and rage. No. To say they came forth would be inexact. The people of Radzat Han themselves transformed into these baleful fiends. Noted. You will get next dungeon. For sure. Though the phenomenon was observed throughout our lands, the first creature, the largest and most dreadful of the lot, wrought havoc upon us here in our fair city. Yeah, you were supposed to be in the in the trial last week, but you could you were there. <laughs> you didn't log in. <laughs> yeah, I think you came in late, right after we finished the trial. <clears throat> Though they bear superficial resemblance to divinities of legend, they are ungodly abominations. The people decry them as blasphemies. The Large One's rampage has since taken it to the northern reaches of the island. I mean to dispatch our radiant host in an attempt to quell the threat. And what of Vritra? 
Vitra too makes for the north of his own accord, and yet he knows the blasphemy and its minions were but yesterday his beloved people. Oh man. I pray his boundless compassion and mercy does not deter him from taking unenviable but necessary action. Understood. I ask that you allow us to aid you in quelling this threat. You would risk your lives to help us yet again? I have no words to express my gratitude. Bro, the whole world. Ended. Our regiments approached the north from several directions, kind of with a number point. of units set to depart from the docks of Yedlimat. They will make Yedlimat. landfall in an area of dense jungle, where one can expect to encounter dangers even beyond the fell beasts we hunt. I leave you to your preparation. You will find me at the docks when you are ready to depart. We're as prepared as we'll ever be. Let's go. They learned that from us, because that's all we do. All right, check the weather, he said. Is the weather. The weather says red. It's just red. Oh, it says apocalypse. <laughs> what is this one? Oh man, I could have sworn we killed one of these in Helldivers yesterday. <laughs> okay, okay, he's going crazy. I don't know why he just spun around like that. He must really be excited. Oh, something happening. Balls, balls, balls. That's what yeah. she said. Are we supposed to fall into the balls? Maybe not touch the balls? Don't touch the balls. Oh, fire. Oh, oh, make sure you get pushed to the balls, I guess. There's fire. You were supposed to be in the ball because oh, it was to be fire. In the ball. <laughs> Duh. You're supposed to go in the ball. Go in the ball. No, no, not now. Not now. No, he's putting water out. Get away from the ball. Don't stand in front of the boss. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I'm supposed to be over there. Sorry. I can't make. You got fire. Go in the balls. Go in the Go balls. Go in the balls. Go in the balls. In a ball. Dude, you would think that I would know what I was doing. Boom. Look, we didn't wipe that time. Wow. Yeah. How'd you feel about them balls? Um, I thought they were a little wet. Cool. Some of them were a little hot. Were they a little hot? Yeah. They, were they sweaty? Sweaty balls? <laughs> I guess they were hot and sweaty balls. Huh? Do you remember? Whoa, there's things flying in the air. What are those? Look up. There's squids in the sky. Oh my God. If you have a DPS meter, let us know. But you really shouldn't have one. Oh, what is this? Look at that. He's got many mouths. Oh. Oh, it's like a hand calling you. Blasphemy. It's far ban banu. Red. I should be on blue if I have a red circle. There's multiple uh, mechanics at play there. Uh -oh. Yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot of things happening. Uh oh. CV died. It's okay. We have two people that can res you. What's going on here? Okay. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, oh. They'll be in front of the red balls. They'll be in front of the red balls. They'll be in front of the red balls. She was in front of the red balls, huh? Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Sheep. Sheep. Resin. Resin. <laughs> okay, what do I go on? Go on res... Clarissa. Uh, why aren't you resin Corsair? Oh, okay. Someone because needs to res mechanic. them. There was a mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good. I thought we did pretty good. Don't. So whatever symbol he gives, don't be on it. Don't be on that symbol. So be on blue. No. No. He's going to use blue. He's no, get out. no, there was a red down there. <laughs> Our DPS has disappeared. Don't don't speak too soon, Chaos. All right. Okay. So there's a triangle. I should not be on blue. I should be on red. Okay. Fire. Do you see that? Okay. See I'm that? just getting myself confused here. Okay, well, so I look. I wasn't confused. Now we're looking at him, okay? We're looking at him. We're looking at him. Because he's over there. Okay. You're going to be looking at the ground as well. But while you're looking at him, there's going to be a gap between the fireballs. That's where you need to be. A gap between the fireballs. You see that? Look up. Look up. Oh. Oh. But also don't lose track of the ground. Oh, see, I missed that the first time. Where is it at? It's done. Okay, it's done. Whew. Oh, shit. Oh no. Alright. Boom. Alright. Pay attention. Okay. okay. Pay attention. Paying attention. Okay, go on red. Away from each other. Okay. There we go. I died. I died. <laughs> Everybody died. No, sheep didn't I? Mass res sheep. Shit. <laughs> oh my god, I saw that. All right. White number three. Are we keeping count? Look at all the sperm in this guy. Oh my god, what? They're all flying. Can you say that? What? Sperm in this guy? Why can't... Are you allowed to say that? Yeah, why not? We shall grow bigger than this problem. Those extra moves that really help you out in DPS right about now. Oh. Okay. Oh, sounds like we better do uh -oh. it. Okay. Okay. No symbol yet. There we go. He's almost done. High five. like Lego. Yeah. As I feared. Who was it? What did she fear? I'm catching up on my end. As I feared. What is it? The beast was there, and now it is no more. Yes? But she can still see it. Indeed. We saw it plain. 
But you didn't, did you? I saw nothing. Not the blasphemy that perished here, nor the other men turned beasts. And because of this, I now see all too well. That they are not from this world. There is no ether. Where the creatures should be, I saw naught but emptiness. Emptiness? But that would mean... Recall the words of the Watcher. Twas a stagnancy of ether, a cessation of flow leading to decay and absence that led the ancients to conclude their star was dying. This is the same phenomenon. The instant these people are seized by the transformation, their ether begins mm. to rot and crumble away like dried mud. Mm. Until, from their corporeal forms to their very souls, naught remains. But the beast spoke with its dying breath. Surely at least a sliver of the man it was endured. Mayhaps so. But even if the process was incomplete, it was little more than a faint residue. Got to be good. You're saying they cannot be saved. Not by any means known to me. Or by any means at all, like as not. For there is naught left to save. Mm. They return not even to the ethereal sea. Vitra, my friends, I am heartened to see you safe. You eye. put your secret at risk. Those closest to me already know the truth. A truth I must now share with one and all. Vitra, calamity has come to Radzatan. Our fair nation is rent by screams of pain and despair. More than ever, we require a strong leader to shepherd us through the storm. Reveal your true self to our people, Vitra, and guide us to salvation. What madness is this, I one? Thou dost forget thyself. Were we to reveal our duplicity, it would do naught but foster confusion and chaos. I think it's already happened. Nay, I shall remain the Satrap's loyal ally and do battle with the beasts. Easing hearts and leading the people to safety is thy task and thine alone. I ask that you remain at Ahewan's side, and render unto him what aid you may. I know not what lies ahead, but without you, Radzetan will not survive. Got it. Take me with you. I am as at home fighting in the air as I am on land. Take me with you. Were my words unclear, I require no assistance. Thy place is at Ahiban's side. Estinian, here. What is that? It's the last thing you ever wanted, a link pearl. <laughs> We've gained much from knowing your elevated perspective. 
And it'll keep you from getting lonely, which I know you love. <laughs> you heard the man. Seems I'm coming with you after all. Then I pray thy grip is iron. Be it on thy head if thou dost chance to fall. <laughs> Damn. Fair enough. Now, shall we? Just gonna hop on up there. Bam. It's because he's a jerk anyway. I think I like Estinian a lot. Estinian is pretty cool. I fear it is as Vitra says. We will not survive this on our own. While I am loath to impose upon you again. I would insist if you did not. Tis the very reason we have come. Then once more I find myself without words to thank you properly. Let us return to the capital and plan our next course of action. That's it for Final Fantasy.